back to Yahoo Finance Live. Uh, earlier this week, after a lawsuit was filed against Citadel Securities, uh, the company there responding to some of the outrage that happened back when the GameStop and AFC meme trade kicked off earlier this year and trading was halted. Of course, uh, the controversy around that, that Citadel, the hedge fund, was short uh, GameStop in that trade, and people still alleging that Citadel Securities, the market maker, may have acted in collusion with Robin Hood. Uh, the company, of course, has denied that, but it raised new questions around what exactly it means to be short some of these names as we talked about short sellers who benefit and profit as stock prices decline. And that's the topic of this week's Yahoo You as Brian Chung breaks down what exactly it means to be short a stock. Take a listen. Class is in session. There are many ways to bet on stocks. Think it's going to go up? Buy a share and hope its price goes up. But what if you think it's going to go down? Short selling is one way, albeit a risky one, to do that. And here's how it works. Let's say there's a company called Chung Shoes. The short seller is convinced that Chung Shoes stinks. So they borrow a share of Chung Shoes from somewhere, usually a broker. They then sell the share in the market, let's say at $100. The bet is now in. Now let's say this person is right, that Chung Shoes really does stink, and its share price plummets to $80. That person buys back that share at $80 and then closes the loop by giving the share that it borrowed back to the broker that lent it to them. Now remember, they sold the borrowed share at $100, bought it back at $80, and made $20. The broker will also take a fee out. Let's say it was $5, so the final profit for the short seller is $15. Okay, but let's say the opposite happens. If the shares rise, that person's on the hook to at some point give a share back to the broker. So if Chung Shoes is actually awesome and its shares rise to $120, the short seller will have to buy it back at this higher price and return it to the broker if they ask for the share back. So let's tally it up here. They sold the borrowed share at $100, bought it back at $120, and lost $20. The broker still takes a fee out, which we'll say is still $5, for a total loss of $25. Well, you win some, you lose some, right? But unlike buying a stock where the most you can lose is the price of the share, the losses can keep rolling in a short sell position. For example, shares of Chung Shoes could go to the moon, double to $200, triple to $300, quintuple to $500, this could spiral out of control quickly into a short squeeze. If there are a lot of shorts on a stock, as those short sellers liquidate and cut their losses, the price can continue to rise, hurting all the other short sellers still holding the bag. So short selling can help you play a stock you think is set to fall, but a word of caution is probably healthy with a play like that. And that wraps up this week's Yahoo You. Class dismissed. Of course, that short squeeze to end all short squeezes there, triggering uh, the first moves higher for GameStop on what has still been an incredible run here in 2021. Similar things there for AMC, though, uh, probably less amount of shares uh, sold short there.